Maayong buntag ka na tanan. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday to all. We're calling for this press conference because starting today, we expect quite a number of delegates from the 10 ASEAN member nations to be arriving to Cebu, of course, including the Philippines, for the 14th ASEAN senior officials responsible for information or summary and the conference, 13th conference of the ASEAN ministers responsible for information, AMRI for short, of which the chair is our very own secretary of the Presidential Communications Operations Office, Secretary Sunny Coloma Jr. Now the summary event will officially begin tomorrow, while the AMRI conference will take place on Thursday. Now, aside from the 10 ASEAN member nations, we expect uh, three dialogue partners to be joining uh, here in the AMRI and SOMI event. These are the countries of Japan, Korea, and China. So without further ado, we'd like to begin our press conference, but allow me first to introduce to you our distinguished panelists seated in front of you. Now, I'd like to start off with the chair of the 14th SOMRI, our very own Undersecretary of the Presidential Communications Operations Office, Yusek Jess Anthony Yu. Thank you, uh, Ms. Fayette. Uh, good morning to all. Yeah. I'd like to uh, give a brief uh, uh, yeah. uh, opening statement regarding uh, the conference. Mm -hmm. The Philippines will host and chair the 13th ASEAN Ministers Responsible for Information Meeting and the 14th Senior Officials Meeting Responsible for Information or SOMRI plus related meetings with our dialogue partners starting today until the 18th of March. Venue will be at the Shangri-La Maktan in Lapu-Lapu City. The theme for the conference is One ASEAN Connectivity, Community, Opportunity. The meetings will bring together ministers and senior officials from all 10 member 10 ASEAN member states, including senior officials from dialogue partners of Japan, China, and Korea. Also in attendance would be the Secretary General and Deputy, Deputy Secretary General of the ASEAN Secretariat. Attendees to the conference are cabinet secretaries or ministers and senior officials of the information sector from all 10 ASEAN member states, including that of the dialogue partners. This gathering of ASEAN minds strengthens our region's resolve in achieving an integrated ASEAN. Thank okay, uh, I'd also like to introduce no, our other panelists seated in front uh, of you. Of course, our directors, uh, Philippine Broadcasting Service, popularly known here in Cebu as Radio Nambayan Cebu or DYMR Cebu. We'd like to welcome to Cebu Director Tito Cruz. Mayong buntag kaninyong tanan. I don't wanna take much of the information from our Chair Yusek Yu and of course our beloved mayor from Lapu-Lapu is also our guest today. So the most that I can say at this point in time is my buntag sa inyo, my adlaw Cebu, my adlaw Lapu-Lapu. What is good in this press conference kaya ato mga panelists puro bisaya, no? Because ang kaning duha na to, mga lalaki nga gentleman from Manila, puro ni sila mga bisaya. And of course, no, the ever active and beautiful mayor of Lapu-Lapu City, who is the host LGU of the event, since the event will be held in Shangri-La, we'd like to welcome uh, to our press conference, Mayor Paz Radaza. Hi, good morning. Uh, we're so happy the city government of Lapu-Lapu of choosing the place, the venue, as the official ven venue of the, the Asian Summit and having it here at uh, Shangri-La Resort and Spa. We'd just like to tell our media friends know that uh, the Philippines will officially host the ASEAN Leaders Summit next year, of which way back in 2007, if you recall, Cebu was privileged to host. So with that, uh, Yusek Yu, would you like to add more of what you just said? Why was Cebu chosen? And uh, what would be the important, no? Uh, what is the significance of the event and what would be the important highlights that will be discussed in the coming uh, SOMRI and AMRI? Yeah, uh, just like what you mentioned earlier, Cebu has uh, been the host of several international events. Uh, the most recent uh, events were the APEC meetings. Uh, we also, uh, Cebu also hosted the IEC just last January. 
So Cebu has already been poised to be another uh, international gateway outside of Manila. But uh, Cebu was not supposed to be the original venue of this Somi <laughs> and Amri, sir. So I just yes. would, well, we'd just like to tell our media friends, nga no Cebu man nga. Yeah. Supposedly, dili man ta Cebu yeah. ang. Ang the, original venue. Yeah, the the original plan uh, usually uh, from uh, as uh, protocol uh, is usually being held in the capital, so uh, so Manila. But uh, our friends, uh, our colleagues from uh, the Somri, requested that if there could be a venue outside of uh, Manila. So instantly, uh, from our minds, the the best. Uh, uh, venue outside of Manila will be Cebu. That's why we, we came here as early as uh, last year, early last year, to determine the viability of uh, of Cebu hosting. But we did not have a difficult time because again, uh, Cebu has been host to several international events in the past. I just like to give a uh, mere pass, no, uh, <coughs> the chance to talk on how are the preparations from your end because you are the. Uh, host LGU, uh, how are we going to showcase again no? uh, Lapu Lapu City, Cebu as an international tourism destination uh, with all your preparations for the delegates? Uh, as has been said by Yusef, uh, you, we have been into hosting all the different international events and uh, uh, the city just like as has been mentioned we were with the APEC, and then after that, the IEC, but previous to that, we have some sports events, international sports events, which is the Ironman. So it's not new to Lapu Lapu City, and since it, we just had it, the APEC and the IEC, so it's sort of parang, it's a continuation event already. So um, from your end, Mayor, I know there's gonna be a tour, so what will be the highlights of the tour? so that you can showcase uh, Lapu-Lapu City to the delegates and Cebu in general? Uh, I think our tourism officer has been uh, coordinating with the different uh, companies mm -hmm. and also Cebu City and the province has been mm -hmm. um, helping us on this uh, event. Director Tito Cruz, any inputs from your end before we open the floor for any questions from our media friends? Uh, yeah, I'd just like to say na baka siguro na pili din ang Cebu. Mm -hmm. Kasi kumbaga, sunod-sunod eh, APEC, and then IEC, ah, ah, I, IEC, yes. and then this one, kasi siguro naisip nila, praktisado pa, mainit-init pa, pwede yung magpatuloy pa natin siguro. <laughs> okay, so at this point in time, we'd like to open the floor to any questions from our media friends. Uh, I'd like to give the first uh, question, opportunity to Jude of EBS. Sir, ano yung mga agenda and all meetings. Okay, um, as uh, mentioned po kanina, uh, these are ministers of information. So part of uh, part of our agenda would be uh, yung digital television, no? mm -hmm. about the uh, digital television, information and media training. Uh, proposals also will be made uh, on the part of the AMRI to discuss mm -hmm. so, about uh, the celebration of uh, ASEAN's 50th year next year. No? So, uh, pag-uusapan din po doon yung uh, ano ang magiging role ng 10 ASEAN member states no? for the celebration. Uh, it also coincides with the Philippines as chairman of ASEAN. No? So, 2017. So, we will be hosting that. Uh, His Excellency President Aquino has already issued uh, Administrative Order Number 48 last uh, February 4 creating the ASEAN National Organizing Committee. Mm -hmm. so this is headed by uh, the Executive Secretary and the uh, Vice Chair will of course be the Department of Foreign Affairs the Secretary who is now Secretary Rene Almendras. Mm -hmm. So all uh, national government agencies concerned have uh, started meeting in preparation uh, for uh, the 50th uh, uh, celebration of the ASEAN. So that will also be part of uh, the discussions of the AMRI you know, so that all 10 member states can participate in this celebration. Follow up. Possibly, sir, saan yung next year? Uh, that is still being discussed, but again, uh, there is a uh, possibility that Cebu will still be again be uh, one of the sites you know, for the venue. Irene of PDI. How many delegates are expected? 
So far, our count uh, as of yesterday, no? may mga nagsasabit pa rin ng, uh, ng uh, registrations. Uh, we are looking at about uh, 100 to 120 uh, delegates from uh, the 10 ASEAN member states, including the three, uh, three uh, dialogue partners. This does not include any family members uh, so far, there were no uh, registrations. No? Na may kasama po silang family members. Maganda po magiging impact ito on the part na of Lapu Lapu City and uh, Cebu in general because pinakamagandang experience eh, you experience it firsthand. And remember, these are all information ministers. No, so they can disseminate information about Cebu and they have experienced Cebu as a province and Lapu-Lapu City in particular firsthand. So makikita po nila. No? Uh, again, like uh, our role din dito uh, sa PCO, we have the attached agencies like the Philippine Information Agency, Radio ng Bayan, PTV. No? Uh, they can, uh, we can assist in disseminating that information. So, being the information ministers also of the 10 ASEAN member states, they can also do the same and introduce not just the Philippines in general, but in particular, itong venue natin here, dito sa Cebu. Richard? Uh, will the media be allowed to cover certain events? Okay, I'll, I'll just like to clarify you know, regarding uh, that, that matter. There will be an opening ceremony uh, tomorrow that should be open to media. March 15, that will be uh, the opening ceremony of uh, the Somri. So, uh, another event that will be open definitely will be the opening of the Amri on, seven, on the 17th of uh, March. Uh, ang opening yan is usually at nine, uh, scheduled at 9 a.m. So, but for the Somri, we're looking at uh, about nine, between 9.30 to 10, yeah, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, our dear Mayor, Pas Radasa, will grace uh, the, the AMRI opening on the on March 17th. Does the media need to register? Uh, no need. Uh, we made uh, we made uh, available an area where media can cover. But that is just for the opening ceremony. All the meetings will be closed sessions. There will also be a press conference. Um, yeah, okay. So, sorry. Uh, thank you for, uh, for yeah. that reminder. Uh, the... Our uh, Honorable Secretary Sani Coloma will also be conducting a press conference after the AMRI, uh, after the AMRI conference. Uh, the estimated time is about uh, quarter to five or five p.m. No, he will be joined by the Vice Chair, who is uh, from Singapore, uh, His Excellency uh, Yaakov Ibrahim, and uh, he will be joined also by the ASEAN uh, Secretary General Le Luong Min. Thursday. 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 Yes, this will be Thursday at around quarter to five or five p.m. Depending on the flow of uh, the meetings, uh, that is the appointed time as uh, provided for in the conference program. Will there be press releases issued on certain uh, topics? We'll try to make arrangements with PIA regarding the press releases, but. The, as, as protocol, usually after the conference, there will be a joint media statement that will be released to media. That will happen after the AMRI, which uh, Secretary Coloma will also read. Gladys? Mr. Uh, just a very uh, simple question. Um, we have our video assessment how do you think uh, we can be affected the tourism here in Cebu? Well, as uh, I mentioned earlier, since uh, this will be, we will be receiving guests, no? foreign, foreign uh, delegates. So they can see firsthand yung uh, preparations that were made in Cebu. Uh, what is the Philippines? Hindi lang ito Manila, but there are other areas within the Philippines na uh, pwedeng i-introduce sa ibang bansa. So, uh, Cebu was also, again, chosen because uh, mayroon international airport dito. Eh. So some of the delegates will be flying in direct to, to Cebu. No, so, unti unti, Cebu is becoming one of the gateways no, outside Manila. Is there one of the agenda during the summary <coughs> meeting or the AMRI is the digital television? Mm -hmm. What about digital television? Okay. 
uh, about digital television, ASEAN, you know, the 10 member states, uh, wants to shift you know, to digital television. Now, uh, other member states have already started you know, with digital TV. We're looking at uh, Singapore, which already started, Malaysia, Indonesia. Philippines has already started also on digital television. We might not have the same technology you know, with the 10 ASEAN member states, but uh, ASEAN wants uh, a digital TV to be at the forefront. You know, uh, as we all know, in uh, November of 2013, uh, the President Aquino already uh, considered ISDP, ISDBT, you know, which is the Japanese te te technology, Integrated Services Digital Broadcast Terrestrial. So ASEAN wants to have a digital television as the, uh, as the norm, you know, as, as a shift from what we are utilizing now, which is analog television. So based on the timelines that was provided, uh, ASO or the analog shut off will be by 2020 for the Philippines. Other questions? Um, Irene? Sir, I'd just like to ask apart from what you just told the media, you know, what other areas um, for discussion will be will be done during the official sessions when you talk about the three pillars of ASEAN, and you talk about social, cultural, economic, and political security. What specific information will be discussed in these three pillars? Well, focus will be more on the ASCC. Uh, in the ASEAN, there are three main pillars, which is the ASEAN social, cultural community, the political security pillar, and the economic pillar. Uh, AMRI and SOMRI falls within the pillar of ASCC. So social most will be focused on the ASEAN social cultural community. Um, when you talk about the 2015 ASEAN economic integration, mm. where is the Philippines now when you talk about you know, okay. uh, implementation? Well, on the implementation side, as uh, we all know, last uh, December 31, 2015, was the start of the one ASEAN yeah. or the ASEAN economic uh, or the ASEAN integration mm. into one. So there is a blueprint on how this will be implemented. Now, uh, the AMRI, as uh, the info on the information sector, will start disseminating you know, information about that. That will be uh, discussed more by a different sectoral body. Mm -hmm. But AMRI will always be there, and SOMRI will always be there, because even if AMRI falls under the social cultural community, the task of AMRI as uh, the uh, as as uh, the information uh, dissemination cuts across all three all three pillars. Richard. Yes, we'll have slow internet connection in Philippines. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, uh, again, uh, that that belongs to a different sectoral body. You know? uh, Amri usually takes care of uh, the dissemination. That that is that will be handled by a different uh, sectoral body. Not, uh, not specifically AMRI. No. So to tell you frankly, that is uh, not part of uh, the agenda. Sir, do you have a outline, the graphic outline for the conference program? Okay, uh, we will make arrangements uh, with the PIA. Uh, so we'll uh, try to prepare for uh, a little uh, the information no, regarding on, uh, on the topics that will be discussed. The speakers would be mostly within ASEAN. Yes, this is an ASEAN event, so main main uh, uh, main uh, delegates would be from the ten ASEAN member states and the three dialogue partners. Uh, the keynote speech uh, would be provided by our honourable. Uh, Mayor Pass. For the, during the AMRI? During, during the AMRI. Uh, what the AMBI. about tomorrow, sir? Uh, no, there will be no... no uh, speech, I will, uh, opening ceremony. I will give uh, the uh, the opening remarks as the incoming chair of uh, SOMRI. So, I'd just like to mention that in the ASEAN, usually the rotation is on alphabetical basis. Mm -hmm. That's under Article 31 of the ASEAN Charter. So last year, Myanmar was the chair. So we will be the incoming chair this year. Philippines. 
Other questions? So, Secretary Coloma will be present tomorrow. Uh, uh, not yet. Secretary Coloma is the, on the AMRI ministerial yeah, level, so he will be here uh, on the 17th. Are all the ministers from the different ASEAN member nations uh, present or yes. just the representatives? Uh, all of the ASEAN member states uh, the min on the ministerial level has also confirmed their attendance. So, sir, considering the distance and the traffic from between Cebu and Apolapo, would you recommend that it's best to attend on the so Thursday? No idea for that. We get to cover the event on Thursday. The press conference. Yes, on, on Thursday kasi, ang media will, uh, can cover the opening ceremony and the press conference ni, ng, uh, ni Secretary yeah. Coloma, uh, the Vice Chair from Singapore and uh, the Secretary General of the ASEAN. So, at ikan, I will leave it up to your discretion if uh, you would also want to cover the, the summary opening uh, tomorrow. Are there any special events uh, for the Olympics? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Lapu-Lapu, you know, also. Uh, actually, in the opening and the closing ceremony, uh, we are, as I have said earlier, we're coordinating with uh, Cebu and Mandawe and also the province in the, in the welcoming program and the closing program. Can you give us details? Right. Actually, it's the usual. It's through our tourism officer. You can ask him later on for details. Uh, we just like to clarify po, yung mga sessions po kasi, the conferences uh, and the meetings would be closed sessions. Only the opening sessions would be, would be open to media. So after that, uh, the media would be uh, ikang, uh, escorted. No? palabas muna kasi uh, yung, yung closed sessions po ito eh no? yung mga meetings but again there will be portions as like what I mentioned earlier po na open for media coverage so there will be no press center? Uh, wala po tayong press center no? but again kung may makukunan po tayo na, na na available information that can be provided for to media we will do so but this will happen after the AMRI uh, conference on the 17th the is only one day? Yes, only Tuesday. one day. So the press will cover the opening and the closing press conference. Press conference. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the whole day. Because in between, as what I mentioned po kanina, just to clarify, closed sessions po yun eh. The opening ceremony will be open and then the press conference uh, in the afternoon. What other agencies are involved in this uh, undertaking, uh, you said? Okay, we uh, made, co of course, ang una pong coordination namin is with the local government uh, unit uh, in Mayor Pass uh, from the very start was very helpful and uh, Mr. Hemler Mendoza, the tourism council head no, of Lapu-Lapu City has uh, assisted. Uh, we also coordinated with several other agencies, especially uh, sa, sa Cebu Airport, no, sa, sa GMR, and uh, the yes. Mactan, yeah, the National yes. Airport Authority. So, Sina Ms. St. Planket, yeah. Sina Nenet, no, who gave assistance. We also coordinated with the Bureau of Immigration, the usual, uh, the Bureau of Customs, mm -hmm. no, and, uh, lahat, no, and uh, all out support, especially uh, from uh, Radio Nang Bayan, PIA, and we have uh, Radio Tele Television Malacanang, and the People's Television Networks are attached agencies of the PCOO, all out support po, po yan. And also from the Police Regional Office, yes. no, providing security for our yes. delegates. Any more questions? Are there other uh, information that you'd like to provide the press that haven't been tackled or discussed <laughs> now? <laughs> so far, uh, yan na lamang po yung ano, uh, uh, may bibigay nating information as of now. So, wala na po ako may dadagdag. I know there's gonna be a tour, but for the details of the tour on how they are highlighting La Punato City, perhaps you could ask Henry later on and the performances uh, uh, being contributed by La Punato City government. So, at this point in time, if there are no more questions, wala na, uh, we'd like to 
ask for the closing statements of all our guests, starting with mm -hmm. Director Dito Cruz, then Mayor Paz, then last is you, Thank you. Thank you, Fayette. Uh, just like to add to the questions of how it will bring tourism to Cebu as my closing statement. Uh, alam nyo kasi itong mga ministers na to, remember that they are the put in mind or bear in mind that these are the heads of the information departments of each country and they are the ones heading the dissemination. So take advantage of the situation. We would like to, for you, for the our friends of media to write as much as possible of the event and help us and help the country, help the mayor, sell the Pulapu, sell Cebu as a good, uh, another area, another venue for an, an international conference. Kasi ito na yung pagkakataon eh. These are the information heads. They are the ones who dictate where to go, what to do, and when to do it. So let's make the most out of it and let's welcome them. Alright, maraming salamat. Mayor Paz? Um, I would like to say that we're so thankful having it here uh, in Lapu-Lapu City for the reason these are the information group and uh, they can do more on the promotion and the promoting of the place. And lastly, you said you. Uh, we would like again to thank uh, the Honorable Mayor Paz Radasa for uh, uh, all out support no, for, for this event. And we would also like to thank uh, the entire Cebu province no, for also hosting itong, uh, ating uh, international event uh, for the 13th uh, conference of uh, the AMRI and related meetings. Uh, maraming salamat at daghan salamat kayo sa inyong talan. So thank you gentlemen, Mayor Paz. We'd, we'd like to again invite our media friends tomorrow. Uh, for the opening ceremony in just a few minutes and then on Thursday, more importantly, I'm pressed for the second one. So at this point in time, thank you for coming. See you.